This also keeps me out of the wind, so you won't hear a lot of wind noise. Cry, baby. That was unnecessary. That's starlight. You don't treat starlight like that. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. And these are my goats, at least some of them. So they are wanting out. Uh, it's the day after the previous video that y'all watched where I said they really did a number on this uh, pen that we put them in. Let me turn you around and show you. So it is time to move these. I need to pick up that dang barrel. I forgot to pick it up the other day. Anyway, I need to, to let these goats out. I wanna let them out and let them eat over here where it's nice, nice and healthy, a lot of green grass. But while I, while I let them out, I'm gonna move their fence to this area right over here where you see all this green grass. That way they have plenty to eat over the next week while I'm at work. So I start back to work tomorrow. And if I move them over here, that should last them about seven to eight days, which is perfect for the amount of time I'm gonna be at work. And then I'll be off six, six days again and I can, uh, move the fence again. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep rotating these goats around, giving them fresh grass about every week. And if I build a big enough pen, I can maybe go two weeks, but that would be pushing it with this many goats in here. Hello, ladies. Are y'all ready to get out? I just can't let Silas out. I won't leave him in for now. Let all these mamas out. I'm kind of in the shade, so you're not getting great video right here it's kind of like those goats you can see pretty well but it's a little dark here this also keeps me out of the wind so you won't hear a lot of wind noise cry baby that was unnecessary that's starlight you don't treat starlight like that all right let's let them out so I'm really hoping they just go right over here and, the, and not that direction towards the bucks. Because I really don't want to get the bucks interested in this. <laughs> All right, I gotta keep Silas out, or in, so I can't let him out. Come on, girls. No sign. No sign. No Silas. No Silas. Silas is like, what about me? Well, that's where they went. That's good. Sorry, buddy. I just need you to stay in, okay? You'll be all right. So I don't use that pan right there for water anymore. I'm just using the one that's right here in this corner, but inside the lean-to. All right, you ladies stay that direction. Oh, man. You two, I swear. All right, I'm gonna have to get in and push them over here. These are Brennan's goats right here, and they're getting picked on right now with my goats because there's, you know, my goats outnumber them. But I do need to get them out so they can eat too. Let me get in there and push them over. All right, I got them two out now, so they'll be fine. I really just don't want them to go that direction and get my bucks interested in them again. Well, hello, Millie. That's Millie, not a goat. Oh, okay, that's Millie. Okay, we've made a decision. Let me turn you around and I'll show you what we've decided to do. So this area here, they've been on this area within the last week. We took them off of this area and put them over here. So we're gonna let this recuperate probably for another two weeks. So we're gonna keep them off of that. We are gonna to try to mow this twice before we put them back in here. So we'll mow it today and then hopefully mow it one more time before we put them back over there. And hopefully we get plenty of rain during all this as well. So what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna, we're gonna take out this entire fence, just take it completely down, all of the poly wire. We're going to pick up right here, bring it right here, okay? And we're gonna go straight this way with it and incorporate all that back there because the goats haven't been back there at all this year. So let me take it back here and show you real quick. Okay, so this area right here has not been 
like the goats have not been on here in a fence all year. They have been in here just on their own, like just when they're eating on their own, you know, free without fence. Mm -hmm. Kind of like they are right now. They're all right over here. They can definitely just come over here and eat if they want. But we're going to put their fence here and force them to eat here. So they'll have this for probably 10 days. This is a little bit bigger area than what they were previously in. And it's a lot taller. We're not gonna mow this down or anything like we did the previous stuff. We're just gonna force them to eat this. And they will, they'll eat it. So Brendan right now is rolling the fence up. This will take us about 20 minutes. I probably don't need to video this. Y'all have seen this kind of work before. I mean, it's pretty simple. He's just walking through and just rolling it up on that electrical cord reel. Uh, and this, it'll probably take two of those. So this is a five strand fence. We plan on putting a five strand fence over here as well. Okay, so when we have this fence completely down, I'll come back to you guys and kind of sh show you how we're gonna map this out. But look at this, y'all. I mean, the goats did a number on this. I mean, it looked like this, obviously. This is what it looked like previously. So y'all take a good look at this. So when we uh, are ready to put the goats over here, in 10 to 14 days, you'll see a huge difference. This right here, all this, should look like this. And then it'll be time to put them right back over there where it's all nice and green right there. We'll put them back over there. So while we're taking the fence down and putting the new fence up, they're just gonna be out and about free ranging. I got free range goats. Some of y'all have free range chickens. I have free range goats. Just when they're not fenced. Okay, so we got the fence taken down. It only took about, honestly, about 10 minutes when two people are doing it. It's pretty quick. So we're going to start from the same corner we, are, we were already at. And then we're going to come over about 20 feet. For That's going to be our first stretch. And then we're going straight behind me. I'll show you. So this is where we have our electric coming to. So that's where we ended up. That's already attached. It was originally attached with the other fence. So we're just going to use that. We're just going to go straight over to this T-post that we just put in. And then we're going straight that way to the next T-post. So this will be more of a lane area for them to get to the next eating spot. So all that over there will be taken out of the equation. And so will all this over here. They'll still be able to access both uh, lean twos. And this is where the fence will end, this corner. So this will not be part of the fence anymore. So from here, it's gonna end here. I doubt y'all can see this, but I'll zoom in. That T post right there is a straight shot from here. And it's just gonna to continue to keep going straight down towards the chicken coop you see in the background. So this area right here is just a lane for the ghost to walk to their new eating area. Yeah, it's full of dirt. That's probably good. So this is the end of the lane, and then it's going straight that way if y'all can see it. So they'll, they'll eat over here. They won't eat over here. They'll eat all this. It's going to look like Oklahoma. Like, yeah, sort of like look, this is really the panhandle. Look. You go around. Yep. And then this is the panhandle. Yep, and this will be the the, uh, the lane will be the panhandle. The Texas panhandle. That's where <laughs> Amarillo. The, that's yeah, Amarillo. <laughs> so, this will be a corner, and it's going to go straight that direction, all the way past this t, t post into the next one, way out there. All right, so Brendan's uh, just weed eating where our line's gonna be between each tea post, just so it's, uh, you know, it won't get grounded out quite as easily.
you just want to go by each thing and I'll put them on there? Yeah. Okay, y'all, it's the next day. Uh, I didn't quite finish the fence because we had to go meet uh, Brandon Eddy, Stephanie Eddy, and William and Marie with Random Oakey Farms. We had to go meet them at the National Sand Bass Festival in Medill, Oklahoma, which is about an hour away from here. But we spent all evening with them, all night with them. We got home at about 11.30 last night, so worn out. But let me show you what we did accomplish yesterday. These goats are still scared to get out. The rest of the goats are already out. We have three strands up almost all the way around. It's just this little half right here, or this little strip right here. We only got two strands up, as you can see right there. It's kind of funny how it keeps them in. But the adult goats, they know better. <laughs> they just jump it. And Silas. Brendan did put them up last night, just to put them in the lean tube. Plus it rained last night. We got like three tenths. Three tenths of an inch of rain. They could have got out right here. This gate's just open, so let me get these little girls out. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. We'll put this in front of it. To keep moving. Oh, now they're jumping. <laughs> I don't want you back in here. I gotta work. I mean, y'all can hang out with me if you want, but. Y'all go, y'all can go out. This is the one time y'all get to go out. Go eat. All right, make sure my bucks aren't over here. Okay, nope. I see Chip and Megatron. Hi, Silas. What are you barking at? You are dirty. Don't come over here and jump on me. Stay right there, I'll pet you. Whoa, good, 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 good. <laughs> Silas likes to jump up on us every once in a while. Okay. He doesn't want him to get... So Silas has his bone over there and he doesn't. He thinks the goats are going to get it. Little does he know. I moved this inside out pool over here for the ducks. Got it out of that little walkway area there. Filled it full of water. Moved the pool over here with water for the ducks. These Muscovy, they're just weird. They don't like water very often. They just like to be around it if they need it, I guess. It's kind of weird. By the way, I did video that National Sand Bass Festival yesterday. It really didn't have a whole lot to do with sand bass for us last yesterday evening. I think there's maybe like a sand bass tournament maybe or something or sand bass cook off. I don't really know a whole lot about it. It's the first time I've ever gone, but there is like a carnival festival, kind of like a fair. Uh, and that's what we went to. And I did video that. So y'all will see that video before you see this one. All right, we're going to get started again. I got to go get another spool of wire cause I'm out. So all the wire that I used on this previous fence only gave me two and a half. Well, basically two and three quarters, uh, strands. So I still have a little over two to go. So I'm gonna need a pretty good spool of wire again. All right, y'all, we gotta get started on this fence. I don't even think it's 10 o'clock in the morning yet and it's miserable out here. It rained, you know, it rained last night so it just makes it so humid. Yesterday I got up to 90, feels 90 already this morning. It's not, but it's getting there. So I gotta get a hustle on this. What y'all saw previously, me just taking the wire down and hooking them in, that's all I'm doing. So I probably won't video any of this. But when it's finished, I'll come right back to you. Well, look at this, y'all. Look how much wire I have left, and I'm at the end. I just got to attach to this top orange uh, lock jaws, and I'm finished. It's kind of like we've done this pattern before. Two rolls, two electric reels full of poly wire worked. Exact, pretty much the exact length I need. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to tighten this by myself. I won't get it real, real tight because I'm by myself, and when you 
take pressure off of one end, the other end kind of loosens up. So it's best to do this with two people if you can. I mean, you can get it fairly tight, pretty good, where it'll work just by yourself. So let me show you what I do at the very end uh, to keep everything kind of snug and tight. Oh, by the way, to join these two reels, I used the double slip knot method. I did not video it in this video, but I'll link it right here where I made a short. So go check it out if you're interested in how to join two poly wire electric fence reels together. Okay, so what I do here at the end, I don't actually tie it off here yet. I actually take just a step in post, come out this way. Actually, I need, sorry. <laughs> come out this way behind the fence. I'm not gonna waste any of this wire. So I'll pull it as tight as I can, and I just kind of loop it around. Okay, now it's got it pretty snug. I didn't tie it in a knot. I just looped it and looped it and just kind of made it snug back here. So you can see, there's my wire. The way, the reason I do this is because I just want tension on this top line. It's gonna get loose here in a minute because I wanna keep pulling and keep pulling and it's gonna loosen it up. But I got it as tight as I could right here. Okay, y'all, so my electric fence starts right there. That's where the first strand is, it's on the bottom. So all I gotta do is go to each corner and snug the bottom one away from itself and it'll tighten it up. And then sometimes when you can get to the far corner, you can do two at once. You can do the, the bottom strand and the top strand at once. So let's go over here. Me and Brennan kind of tightened this up a little bit yesterday. So let's see how tight this little corner is right here. Okay, so actually that feels pretty good already. So all you gotta do is that right there. And it'll start sliding a little bit. It's a little bit more snug. You can pull this one this way if you want. Go in the opposite direction because it's going back. It's going back this way now. And pull this one. Nope, it's not doing anything. Okay, y'all. I've gotten all five strands tight and I'm sweating like a pig. Well, I guess I am a pig, so it makes sense. So anyway, I left my camera at the other corner. I was gonna show you how much slack I actually pulled out of this. It was probably 10 feet of slack, uh, even though I had it tight to begin with. Uh, and that's just on my own. I think I can pull another probably two or three feet of slack if I had Brennan with me. We could each be at a different corner while we're pulling. So I did not tie this off anyway special yet because when Brennan gets home, we are gonna tighten it a little more. So I don't wanna make any final ties until that, that's finished. So that's why it's just kinda like this. And honestly, this has always done good. This, you know, there's no knot in that and it's just wrapped around a few times and going down into these little grooves and it works fine, but, but I, I do wanna secure it a lot better than that. So it is pretty, pretty tight. It's not too bad. I'll kind of show you the design of it now since it's kind of up. So it's not on, obviously. That right there would have to be plugged in if y'all can see that. That would have to be attached to this fence for it to, to be on right now. Well, plus I got it unplugged. It's unplugged in there. So it starts here, comes over, and then just goes straight down. And this area right here, they've already eaten through. They're not gonna eat much of this, but it will be their lane and their shade. You know, they can kind of come over here where the grass ain't tall and kind of lay down in the shade. So we'll just walk the same direction the goats would walk. And this is the area, if y'all remember in the earlier in the video, Brennan called the panhandle of Oklahoma. This would be the panhandle. So right here, it turns and goes straight that direction. But over here on this side, it still just keeps going. It goes all the way down to the chicken coop. And then that end goes all the way over and connects to the corner there and goes all the way to that far corner you see over there. So that's the shape of it. This would be the body of Oklahoma. <laughs> and this would be the panhandle. I guess you could say Brennan's kind of spatial. He sees things and thinks of them in a spatial way. Not special way, but spatial. It's 
So this is where they decided to hang out today, or at least some of them. I don't know where the rest of them are. Hi, Cinnamon. Hi, girl. You sure are sweet. Hi, Ginger. Hi, girl. So their bellies are full. Yeah, there's quite a few missing over here. So let's go try to find them real quick. We got Brendan's two right here. You know what? I know they're over there. They're actually over there behind my mom's house. And I'm not gonna walk over there right now. I'm tired. Y'all eat all you can, I'm gonna leave you out today. But tomorrow, you're back in your pen for at least eight days. Okay, Samoa? Is that a deal? What about you, Bottle Cap? You look fat. You've been eating good. Ooh, the wind's picking up. Feels good on me, but I know y'all can hear it in the video. That's Nuka. Cry baby. Cinnamon. Bottle cap. Samoa. That's a Girl Scout cookie, Samoa. That is, gosh darn it, root beer. That is York. That is Ginger. Way over there is a Snickerdoodle. Oreo and caramel. We call her Kara. You didn't just limp, did you, Kara? Let's see. I gotta make y'all move, don't I? Nope, you're walking good. Okay, sorry to bother y'all. I had to check on her. Looked like she limped. Yeah, she's walking fine. Um, I would show y'all me putting those goats in, but They've got another nine hours of eating out here today. I'm going to let them stay out here and eat as much as they can. They'll get back up here in a minute and start eating again. Uh, that way, that area that we just fenced off, they can stay in there my whole set on, which is eight days. I go back to work tonight. That way I don't have to worry about them for eight days. They can stay in there, make sure they have water. They'll have plenty to eat, and they'll eat most of that down. There are a couple of things in there that they won't eat. Um, they just don't like them. Um, but they know that and they just won't eat it i'll come back through and mow over it all right hopefully y'all enjoyed this video make sure you do all those things like hit the like button subscribe if you're not subscribed yet ring that notification bell and we'll see you on the next one the remember do the good